So I'm doing a new thing here where I'm not really doing a new thing here. I'm just like, I saw it. I heard about it. I want to do a new thing. I want to try it. And I was just like, okay, I'll do it here for the first, like first time I'll do it. Um, I'm drinking a lot of, I'm, I'm drinking a spring water. Okay. So like I hear this bullshit on YouTube channels or, you know, just different things like different like podcasts and shit like that. And then I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to go, I'm going to go try that. I'm very easily persuaded. So it was saying that like, I should be drinking spring water because it's healthier for you. And then there's also one quart of water. I got the big ass one. So there's like different sizes. There's like the small one. There's like the little medium one. And then there's the big ass motherfucker, which is this one, one quart of water. And I was like, fuck that. I'm going to get that. It was like a dollar 89 too. I was like, fuck, I'm getting the spring water, which I was supposed to get. And I'm getting a quart. How the fuck can I beat that? But what pisses me off about this shit is people come at me. You're like, doesn't matter. We're all going to get cancer anyways. So yeah. Okay. Well, you know, like I don't, <laughs> okay, asshole. Um, so I got to pull out. I'm pulling something up here. Yeah, it pisses me off though. Like they come at me and they're like, we're all gonna get cancer anyways. Everything has cancer in it. Okay? Everything. One, you came at me way too strong. Okay? You didn't need to do that. Do you think I'm gonna go up to like a really ugly girl and be like, Puh! why are you trying to do makeup? You're already ugly. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you're you're gonna be ugly. What's the point? Might as well just fuck it. Just say fuck it, man. Do whatever you want. I've got a problem with that. Maybe it's a hobby. I don't get after you for fucking playing video games. What's the point? Why the fuck are you doing that? What's, what's, I enjoy it. I want it, I want to drink my water. You know, it's obvious, it's obviously a hobby. It's not like this like dedicated thing I do to where it's like, oh, okay. No more purified water. Only spring water now. <laughs> Let's go to a restaurant and be like, excuse me, um, <laughs> Do you have any spring water? Because I I actually have this thing where I, I can't have purified water. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We don't. Would you mind going and buying some? I'm real and persistent about this. <laughs> My friends get after me. They're real persis persistent here. It's not like I'm imposing on people, you know? Like... I'm not going to cause a big scene. Like, just fucking let me do it. If I want to drink the spring water, why do you have to come in so, so strong and like, fuck you on it? Like, don't, go get cancer anyways. Gonna get it from something. Might as well drink purified water. Or maybe I want to fucking drink my spring water. Okay. We're all, we're all going to die someday. So what's the point of having a job? Might as well just sit on your fucking ass all day. What's the point in trying anything, dude? Sit in your ass and play video games. <laughs> and I was kind of like, God, what is going on with you that you were that upset about spring water? Kind of makes me wonder. Let's see what else. This week I was at, um, at first, this is, I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of new shit. Like what's new? What's new? I'm always like, oh, we're doing new shit. 
get this this time. No, this time I've been doing new shit. I, I just rearranged this whole room and I finally, for the first time, like understand those people that are real, like particular about things. And they're the same way. They're the same way. They, they are so certain about them themselves that their way is right. Excuse me. Their way is right about the way things are. Like they'll come up to you and be like, okay, here's why. We can't have this place a mess like this, okay? You need to be cleaning your room. I'm sorry, is it like a, like a, it, they treat it like I murdered someone, okay? Like I have no idea how many times my parents were like flipped shit about my room. And it's like, it's, it's a fucking room, okay? Let's acknowledge first that you're just obsessive compulsive as fuck. You have a mental disease. <laughs> you have a mental disease. You're obsessive compulsive as fuck about a room being tidy. But now I kind of like, it's funny because I'm doing it now. Like where like, I'm like, fuck me, man. Like, I just sit there like this. I'm like, like even just before doing this, I spent like, I got home. I'm not eating dinner yet. Um, I'm like all like into the like the room, like making sure everything is like my and I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Like it's great to like sit in this room and everything is in place. Everything's in place, but the only problem with it is like it's like pissing into the wind. Like this shit lasts like maybe three fucking days. I think I think when I wasn't into the tidyingness, I was more just honest with myself that like, yeah, you know what? Everything is fucking chaos. It's fucking mess, man. Like, it's fine though. It's fine. Like, no one isn't, you need to keep up, clean your room and you need to, you need to clean it. I'm like, why? Cause you should take care of the things you got and you should, you should clean that room. Cause it's not something to be proud of. Wait a second, you're telling me that like, you get proud of the fact that you have a clean room. <laughs> Imagine that, you're at like a, <laughs> you're at like a party or something like that, you're introducing yourself. So tell me what's cool about you. I got a clean room. <laughs> well, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything, but my room fucks, it is so clean. <laughs> You want to see a picture? I got a picture on my iPhone. I can show you right now. It's clean as fuck. All right. Any time. Of, and they take pride in this. You could walk in there any fucking day of the week. Any time. Be clean. It would just be clean. You know? There would be nothing on the floor. Everything would be in place. Everything. Wow. And, you know, it's like no one gives a fuck. Oh, cool, dude. Cool. No, no. You don't understand what I'm saying. Everything is in place all the fucking time. 24-7, 365. Every fucking thing in place. And you know what I do? I constantly keep up with it. I work all fucking day and then I come home and I fucking clean my room. All fucking night. And then all fucking day I go to work. And then it's clean. I, I don't enjoy any of it. I just kind of like... But I clean it. It's always clean. And by the rare occasion... Thank you, by the way, for listening to me. Because this is the first time in four fucking years I've been able to actually get something out of having a clean room. Like, I just don't get it. I don't get it. And it's impossible to keep up with. It. Unless you want to do it 24 fucking 7. I'm like, okay, I can get on this bandwagon a little bit here. Tidy up some shit. Make it look nice. Maybe it'll, maybe I'll be, like, less stressed out or something like that. You know, like, like kind of like this. Like, I hear you're supposed to have good posture. Like, okay, I'm going to try this thing. Have good posture. New year, new me. I got a good posture and a clean room. Huh. Also, <laughs> I eat whatever I want. Doesn't matter. You can get cancer anyways. As I drink my spring water. But I, I was doing it and... I was like, what if I just like, hey, let's give it a little kick here. Let's give it a go. You really have to stay on sh that shit all the time. Okay. 
If you walk into someone's house and it is perfectly clean, first red flag, this person is fucking nuts. Okay, they are fucking nuts. There is no way to keep it clean all the time. Like, I give it two fucking days, maybe one. I'll spend a whole evening, like four fucking hours. I'm just like, putting all this shit in different places. And then, like, I'm just like, God damn, like, I'm exhausted. I could have been on pre calculus for four fucking hours, clean my room, it drains the fuck out of me. But you kind of get like this weird high from it. Like, you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, put that there, oh, yeah, okay, I can put that over there, oh, yeah, okay, mm, mm, okay, oh, wow, yeah, let's put that there, oh, straighten that, okay, okay, what the fuck, there's an expiration to this water, ingredients, spring water, the fact that they have to put ingredients on here tells me that they're full of fucking shit. I guarantee there's something else in spring water. And if not, they're stupid little fucking marketing. They're like, oh, well, spring water actually encompasses bleach, fluoride, and fucking chemicals. So, yeah. That's what we meant by spring water. Is the 0.000% of bleach and fluoride. That's what we meant by that. So, we're not lying. We're just really, really sophisticated with how we word things. As I drink my spring water. <laughs> Doesn't matter, everything's gonna give me cancer. Doesn't matter, we have fluoride and fucking bleach in it. Why don't you just, you know what? If you wanna drink bleach, well, I think you should go ahead. Doesn't fucking matter. I love, I mean, people just like view this expanse on their life and it's like, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mine not gonna, mine, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to change anything how I eat, okay? I can eat a bag of fucking Doritos and cookies all day in Mountain Dew, and it will never change the day I die. Ever. Ever. We're all going to get cancer. We're all fucked, okay? There's bleach, and you should have a clean room. That's it. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Way to be cynical. Okay. I might as well just kind of throw out the whole going to the gym thing and... The whole, like, hobbies thing and the whole, like, job thing and then just sit at home and masturbate. That's what you're saying, right? Doesn't matter. We're all going to get cancer. I went to my... Uh, I went... Here's another one. The teeth cleaning bullshit. I went and I got my teeth cleaned. Which... I, whatever. It's fine. It's one day... 45 minutes every six months, okay? Every year, you're spending an hour and a half getting your fucking teeth cleaned, <laughs> which is honestly, that's a, a lot more when you put it that way. Like, my God, I wonder how much time you spend each day. But people are like, you know what? It's good to get your teeth cleaned. It's real good. No, it's not, okay? Like, people think getting your teeth cleaned is like the cure to cavities, he has a specialized toothbrush with special toothpaste on it. And then you think six months, you're not going to get a cavity? Like, oh, better go get my teeth cleaned so I can't avoid cavities for the next six months. How about you just drink less fucking pop? That might be a good start. But I go and um, I'm probably the only, <laughs> probably the only person that, I have problems with my dentist and it's not like um it's not what you would think it's it's just something about this office i don't know what it is the last dentist i had problems with and this dentist i had problems with too and you're like what do you mean did he like overbill you or fuck up your x-rays i'm like no not exactly i get into arguments with my dentist and we butt heads real fucking hard and we don't like each other. So it was like, oh, hello. How are you doing? Good. That's good to hear. How was your summer? Good. What did you do? Nothing. That's interesting. 
What are you doing this holiday season? Nothing. Okay. Next 20 minutes, completely silent, just like drilling in my fucking teeth. It got so awkward at one point that I was just like, this isn't recently. This is what's been going on. I'll just like sit there. I'm like, fuck, I can't even look at this guy. Cause you know, they're all up in your shit, right? Like it's not like he's just like back. It's just like, he's right here and he's very intimate. It's very intimate getting your teeth cleaned. It's like you got someone in your mouth that could kill you. Just one little fucking jab back there with that tool. You're gone. And, uh, but, uh, I just like, you know what? I'm just going to close my eyes. <laughs> take a goddamn nap in this chair. He'll wake me up when we're done. But uh, this time was very different. I went in there and same old shit. Like he was like, he puts on this like front of like trying to be nice. And he's like, hey, how are you doing? How are you? I'm like, good. I'm doing good. You know, like, it's like, dude, you act like, you know, we've been besties and then all of a sudden we're now like, we're seeing each other again. It's like, oh, how are you doing? How are you? Just stop. I, I'd, be, I'd be so much more appreciative. It was like, hey, what's up? I know. Once every six months. Sucks dick getting your teeth clean, doesn't it? Yeah. Really fucking sucks. Just do it. It's a societal bullshit thing that we have to do, and let's just do it. I fucking hate it. You fucking hate it. I'm a dentist. Like, hey. <laughs> he. <laughs> but I was like, this time, I was like, you know what? All right, fine. I'm going to, like, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, I'm going to actually, like, I'm going to talk to him. Yeah, I'm going to be nice to him. And I go in there. We're doing it. <laughs> we were doing it, man. You were really doing it. You ready to do this? Let's do this. Let's go do this. Do the teeth thing. Do the teeth thing. I should tell him I drink fucking spring water. <laughs> I should tell him that. You know, you shouldn't drink that spring water. There's not fluoride in it. That's how it would start. He's got this thing about fluoride. Dude, like, fuck off. I'm not 13, okay? Doesn't matter. You're gonna get cancer anyways. But I'm like, whatever, I'm gonna talk to him. And I really <laughs> found that I actually enjoyed this guy. He reminds me a lot of Steve Harvey. He just got this like weird demeanor to him to where he's like cheerful but also an asshole, but cheerful. So like you know how Steve Harvey, he's just like sitting there and he's like <laughs> like maybe they're hired actors the people on his show although he's got like a billion fucking shows but I'm talking about the one where he's like sitting there and giving counseling like Karen you know what I think you should do like Karen's like my life is gone to shit I'm suicidal um, my husband left me I'm broke I'm homeless I'm also pregnant and I have cancer and AIDS at the same time and then Steve Harvey is like he leans in he comes in like this <laughs> Karen, here's what I'm going to do for you. First, I want you to help yourself. And I want you to start meditating. Okay? I want you to just take a moment every day and just say, my life is great. Then after that, I'm going to send you to a rehabilitation center for four weeks Cue audience to cry now. <laughs> cue, cue hired actor to cry. And we're gonna fix everything, okay? Okay, can we get a, can we get an applause from the audience? Can we get an applause from the audience? But he kinda has that same demeanor to him, like, he just kinda like, well, how are you? I'm here to fix your teeth. And he, he's overly confident like that too, like, what do you mean? I'm here to fix your teeth. I can fix anything. I'm here to fix your teeth. By the way, what are you doing this holiday season? What are you doing? I must get so fucking bored of that. 
he um, does have like these like I hate to say it, but he's got these like transcending fucking eyes. It's really scary. He's like he's like scary looking, right? He's like he's like old. He's like like, like 50, 60. Just like it looks like a like <laughs> like a creep, but he just kind of like. He does have really great eyes. I mean, you're like, it's a nice feature. I don't think you should be a dentist unless you have really nice eyes. Because it's like, fuck, dude. Like, how do you really distinguish one dentist from the other? You're laying back in the chair like this. What are you doing this Christmas? Uh, I, 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 I got a game. I got a game. The only thing that you're going to really have to do is look at things, bright ass fucking light, but his transcending eyes, it's like, kind of like if I was real tired and I went in there, like real, real, and um, had like a lucid dream or something, I'd think the guy is Jesus. I was driving home though tonight and this, uh, it's like, it's Christmas time, you know, and there's a lot of different houses and things like that that are putting like the lights on and things like that and some of them you're like oh that looks real good and you're just kind of just kind of whipping around in your car just like coming home and you're like oh oh, oh oh you know if you got people with you everyone's like oh look at that one uh-huh wow look oh wow look at that one but then there's always one that just drops your fucking you just like you drop your dick too. You're just like, what the fuck? And everyone's like, oh my god. Would you pull over? I'm gonna I wanna take a picture of that. You gotta wonder about those people. What the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm not trying to seem like a Grinch or anything like this, but like my god. And it's not like a like a big multi million dollar house too, where it's like they they hired the fucking like the light crew to come in and really make it cool, you know. And it's just like fuck it, yeah, it's Christmas, whatever, we'll do it. I've got a big dick and a shitload of money. It's like that that house is probably like a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. The cars are probably in the two thousands versions, you know. And the woman that does it all is probably. 54 years old and her name is fucking Peggy. And she sits there in her little fucking chair like this. She just reads the book. I just love Christmas, you know? I just fucking love it. Isn't that great, honey? And her husband's real quiet. He's the real quiet type. Just kind of sits there. Mm. Don't you love it? Yeah. You know, she's she's real snippy. She can be real snippy. She can be just total opposites. Like, one day she can be real fucking... One moment she can be real snippy. The next she can just be like, Do you want some Christmas cookies? And her husband, Tim, probably has a mustache. Looks like the guy from that... <laughs> the guy from that uh, camp, the campaign movie. What's his name? Let me look that up. Uh, what is his fucking name? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Um, sit there and, uh, you know, because it's not like you never really see these, like, big-ass houses decked out. It's just, like, the ones, and it's like, what What are you doing? How much time did you spend on that? What is your life like? Like, that you can go out and fucking, it's like, it's not just, like, the house, man. It's, like, just, like, 40-foot-tall trees. They've got lights wrapped all the way, not around the base, not around, it's not like a, like a cylinder of a tree, like this lamp, like we're like going around here. It's like the fucking branches and shit all the way around. And she just probably, she, she's either the type where she went out and did it all herself because she loves it, or she made her husband do it. Well, she ships fucking Tai Chi. Tai Chi, there we go. <laughs> tai Chi. And you gotta wonder, like, Peggy, what are you doing? What's going on, Peggy? I went and I got tested for... Um, I, I got tested for STDs. And... 
Um, I don't know why. It's just like it's just one of those things. Like again, it's like everyone's gonna get cancer. It's just like one of those things you just assume. Like you're just like, well, I, I should go do that. You know, and I went and I went and I I went to the um, the doctor's office, <laughs> which I still go to a pediatrician's office. So he's like, he had a real fucking lit morning. I came in there and like, you know, I'm discussing all this different this shit. He's he's seeing like four year olds that are like have a runny nose. Like Timmy's got a little runny nose. That's what all he's been dealing with all morning. Like, well, take his dumb ass to CVS and get Dayquil. Why did you bring him here? Now I'm going to be sick with a cold for the next week. But I come in and I'm like, yeah, you know, do you think you could order me like an STD test? He's like, what? Well, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, I could do that for you. And he starts like opening it up and then he even got real risky at one point and he used the word butthole. I was like, oh, yeah, there we go. Mm. <laughs> you are getting adventurous this morning. Like, oh boy, I shouldn't say butthole around all the little kids. You don't, don't you dare say butthole around him. Timmy's four. We've already had a real problem with him talking about his his wiener. Who cares? <laughs> but I go in there, and so he orders me the STD test, and I do it, and I go over there, and they take my blood, and that that's that's a real cringy thing. Like I have this weird fucking thing about me where like I like I don't know like I'm challenged by it. Like I I really don't like needles, so I like. I like force myself to fucking watch and it's like a challenge to see if I can't like, 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 just like get like so like cringe, it's, it's so cringe worthy. It's like, oh God. But it's like, it's like one of those things like, like you ever smell something really bad and you like almost like can't stop smelling it and you're like, what? Like, I think about that in that like movie with, with James Franco and he's like talking about stink dick and he's like, he's like, oh, it's so weird how you just can't stop just can't stop smelling it, you know? It's like, <laughs> it's weird like that. But that's how it is with, like, that needle. I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, ow, it hurts. But, ow. Ow. But I, they give you these these bullshit forms. And they don't, they don't tell you the results, right? So they make you, they make you log on to their site to figure out your results, Okay. Not only are you paying them hundreds of fucking dollars, like, I mean, I know it's not covered by insurance, but you're paying them hundreds of fucking of dollars to get a fucking test back. And then they're like, oh, by the way, you also have to figure out the results yourself. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? But this site is called My Health Portal. Isn't that some bullshit? <laughs> Here's my problem with that. So much of the health industry is just identifying that you're fucked. Like, if I went in there and I had herpes, what is healthy about that? Or AIDS. So like, well, you've got AIDS. Hello, you've got AIDS. How are you? I feel like I'd get more of my money if the site did that. Like it, that old AOL thing where it's like, you've got mail. If I went on there, it was like, hello, you've got AIDS. Welcome to myhealthportal.com. You've got AIDS. <laughs> What if they came up with like, I mean, since it's STD testing, like talking about like, the only problem with that is just like, we're just completely ignoring the fact that I'm fucked and you're not thinking about me at all. Like if you had cancer, I want to just be like, the, the doctor comes in like, like, hello, you've got cancer. 
answer. Yay. Like, no, you come in, you're like, oh, you know, like, I'm really sorry to tell you this, but you've got cancer in your ass. You know? <laughs> How long do you think? It's stage four, and I mean, it's far up your fucking butt. It's far. So, I mean, I'm going to give it, like, I'm going to give it four to six months. And I mean, like, okay, like, I'm not saying herpes or AIDS is as bad, but I mean, fuck me, man. Have you seen these people with AIDS? Like, in middle school, they made us watch that shit, okay? They're like, it's this sad thing. It's like, Devin had sex one time, and now Devin has AIDS. Devin spends the next two months of his life getting weaker and weaker. Devin lays in his bed, regretting ever indulging in such a naughty, naughty sin. What a dumbass. Kids, can we all agree, Kevin is a dumbass. Devin died with his mom, and his last words was, Mommy, I wish I never had sex, ever. And then he died. Like, yeah, I'm sure that's how it works. I'm sure Devin actually didn't just go to South America and fuck a chimpanzee, okay? Realities of the world that Devin is just fucking weird and there's weird people out there and they do weird fucking shit. And then, unfortunately, they're thrown into the larger pool of statistics that happen to be there's some people out there that have fucking AIDS and Devin was really just a weirdo. And if you're a reasonable person within relation, right, you don't even have to be that reasonable of a person. Just don't fuck a chimpanzee. Don't fuck an animal. And you're good. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, God. I saw this um, this new thing. I was like, uh, he's not a friend of mine, really. He's he's just like, just someone. That he's 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 like, I want to say like a mutual friend, okay. And I'm talking to him this one day, and I was like, oh, what are you up to? You know, kind of like that bullshitting thing, like like I care. What are you up to? Which I kind of care, but I kind of didn't. I, I mean, like, if he would have been like, oh, I actually don't really want to talk to you right now. I don't feel like answering and just walked away. I've been like, okay, that's cool. I didn't really want to have this conversation either. Bye. But I ended up talking to him and he told me that he works for UPS. And I was driving home tonight, like, pretty fucking late. So like 7.38 p.m. I see a fucking mailman still delivering mail. What the fuck? All right, people want to talk about our country and the government. If you want to complain about the government, complain about the fucking mailman and how late they have to work. Fuck the government for that. They're like, oh, it's a government job. It's stable. By the way, we're going to fuck you in the ass. <laughs> You're gonna, you are going to be our little bitch. You will deliver mail. <coughs> You're not going to stop delivering mail until every fucking mail piece is delivered. Okay? I don't care how late you have to work. I don't care if you don't sleep at night. Okay? If you want to work a 24-hour shift every day, that's fine with us. You either pick it up or you stay out late. And he literally told me, I know he's UPS, but, like, I'm sure the mail works the same way. And he was like, yeah, man. He's like, I just have to fucking, he's like, no, he's like, uh, there's no set time when I have to be home. I just have to fucking deliver every package. He's like, my God, dude. He's like, yeah, it's really rough around, around Christmas time because there's, like, a lot of packages. You know, and everyone's like, oh, it's so sad that 
these corporate stores. There's no more shopping in stores anymore. You know what's fucking sad is that all these fat ass lazy people that are. By the way, you're always you're just, everyone's going to get cancer as they're sitting on their fucking computer eating Doritos, drinking their unpurified water or their purified water. Excuse me. Right, ordering shit. Just like, oh, I'll take that. I'll buy that. I'll buy that too. Fuck, that looks cool. Billy, you want a new PlayStation? Fuck it. Let's buy that too. Let's buy the biggest fucking TV we can fit in this family room and we'll sit on our ass and eat Doritos. Yeah. And then my mutual friend is out there delivering packages like, fuck, man. Yeah, it's real hard. I'm putting in a lot of hours, man. I didn't really know this is what adult life was like because, like, I have to work really late. Like, sometimes 9 p.m. and then I start at 4 a.m. and I, I deliver your package and you're like, oh, fuck yeah, man. My package came. Guys, the package is here. Get the Doritos. The package is here. It's here. It's fucking here. It's 9 p.m. I never would have guessed. Who would have guessed that a package comes at 9 p.m.? My God. The reason your package comes at 2 p.m. most of the time is because people are trying to fucking get home. Okay? And then they're like, oh, my God. Like, there's no 5 o'clock cutoff. Like, they just keep going and going and going and going. And then people, like, bitch about the government. Like, healthcare, man. Yeah. UPS and United States Parcel Fucking Service, man. Yeah. Wow, these people are out there, like, really out there late. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, can't we just put that shit off until tomorrow? Like, oh, whatever, man. Just, just four more packages back there. I think we could just call it a day, maybe. But no, like, there'll be that one fucking asshole that'll be like, oh, where's my package at? It's supposed to be here. How about we, how about we get more shipping companies? Why is there just you like the post office, UPS, and fucking FedEx? Three people, three companies, right, to service the entire fucking world of delivery of shit, right? Unless there's like there's also oh god, this is even fucking worse, man. This is even worse. There are, like, these smaller little, like, companies that start their own, like, mom-and-pop trucking delivery services, right? Transportation companies. Fuck me, man. These truckers, you ought to see them, man. They're, like, they're drinking coffee. This, like, gasoline coffee just to, like, fucking stay awake for, like, one ounce. Driving, like, 3,000 miles across the country. They're, like... And then they, like, fall asleep for 15 seconds at a time, right? It's how they do it, is they, <laughs> they fall asleep for 15 seconds at a time. Like, just, like, eyes open, and then just, like, all right. What? <laughs> 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 And they just keep going, keep going. Just like fucking driving across these interstates just mile after mile after mile. I saw one here on the freeway. And I I was tired myself, okay? I'd driven like 20 fucking miles that day, maybe. It's like, it's like 30 minutes in a car, okay? I, uh, I'm driving on the freeway and I see this trucker he's going, now, I, I thought I saw something weird. You know, you see something, you're like, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Well, may, may, maybe I just, I don't know. Maybe it was just an optical illusion or some shit. I'm tired or, you know, maybe I'm hallucinating, but I see it again. And this time I was like, no, I was not hallucinating. I saw this. Just driving, okay? Like, just like a hard fucking, like, coming onto the left lane hard. Then jerks it so hard. Like, the whole fucking trailer is just going like this. Runs off the road on the right side. Hits all the wobbly shit. Pulls it back into the center. Wobbling there. And then finally, 
finally fucking straightens out. And I'm just like, my God, dude. And these guys, I feel like, make dick money. They're making dick money. And it's just like, we got the package. It's here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop what you're doing. Stop eating the Doritos. This is way the fuck better. Get over here. Get over here. Look, a PlayStation on my new dildo. Nuts. Nuts, man. <clears throat> Absolutely nuts. One other thing that I can't get over. Is there some people like... I feel like there's there's a general range of people that everyone can kind of get along with. And just like we accept it as like a norm, right? It's just like you're you're like in the general range. You're like, okay, that's fine. We're not going to give you any shit. But there's some people that are just a little bit outside of that. And you just kind of look at them and you're like, why the fuck are you that way? And you're like, oh, it's 2018 now. Don't be judgmental. Everyone is special, okay? Everyone. Where I work, we, we have to take down a, a customer's contact information to attach it to their order in case something goes wrong at a later point. Very fucking reasonable. We're not spamming these people with God knows amount of emails and all that shit, okay? Even though that doesn't really happen anymore, right? Some people would beg to differ. The, <laughs> the purified drinking water people. I, like, 99% of people are like, oh, yeah, that's reasonable. Here, I'll give you my phone number and name because who the fuck cares? But there's that one little tiny group of fucking rebels out there. No, I will not succumb to this shit. I will never get my, th I, I never give my phone number out to anybody because the day you do, guess what? You start getting calls. And then once your number's out there, it's out there. And it's just, everybody has it, okay? Like, no, it's not. Not even fucking Leonardo DiCaprio number is out there. Okay, and it's Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm sure at a restaurant, he's probably given down his number at least one time. Which is like, oh, sir, like, um, you know, we need to make reservations. Can we, do you mind if we put your number under here? Or when he bought, like, a fucking billion-dollar house... I'm sure the, the real estate agent had to get his telephone number to call him and be like, okay, here's your house. Okay, but there's that little tiny group of rebels out there. Nope, I won't, not me. Mm -mm. I have standards for myself. And my standard, A, number one, is don't get my fucking phone number out or any contact information. It's a big, scary world out there. You got to be careful. You got to watch your back 100% of the time. Second you're not watching your back, it's when you get fucked, man when you get fucked real hard and I will not allow that happen to me or my kids or my grandkids or anyone around me. Next thing you know, they get my phone number, somehow they get other people's phone number in my phone and then they fuck them over too and that's just a whole big cycle and we're all fucked and that's the end of us. So man, actually I would just like to get your phone number because if for example, I need to call you because your credit card didn't go through because you're actually broke as fuck and you're illegally trying to buy something. I would need to get in contact with you about that. But they dodge it. They dodge it. And I'm just like, hey. Right. And they're buying like small, like, like it's not, not everyone, not everyone. But they dodge it. Like, they're real, like, they're excited to decline it, but they're also vague. I'm like, uh, you know, like, I do a million different customers all the time. So I'm just like, same old, same routine. Like, I'm just like, can I get your name? Have you shopped here before? Can I get your name? And they, first they go, the, the name is first, right? Then phone number. 